This is Swap Shop, Sell by Trade. My name's Bob. Let's get right to the calls. Caller one. Hey, Bob. Why don't people know anything about the Constitution? I got in an argument today with someone that said that the president could be a president for 14 years. First off, that doesn't make any sense because it's not every four years. But also, they can only do two terms thanks to that FDR character. So, Bob, don't you think they should teach that more in school? I think it'd make more sense to teach more of it in school. Okay, Bob, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks. Thanks, caller. Line two. Hi, Bob. I want to let you know about what I've got for sale. I got a gram of OG Kush. I got three grams of double OG Kush. I got about an eighth of cookie batter. I got about half a gram of OG indigenous cookies. I got a gram of Darth Vader slackerites. I got three grams of coffee cutter. And I've got four grams of Pocky Strawberry. The prices are all $35 an eighth. So you'll have to do the math. I can give out free samples, but it's a very small amount. My number is 555-4032. Once again, that's 555-4077. I forgot to bring up one other thing, though. And this is kind of important, I guess. So if you have your medical card, it's only going to be 12% tax. I have to charge tax on these things. Where with adult use, it's 24% tax. So you might want to add that price in when you're doing your math. I don't take anything but cash. And I don't do change. So, again, adjust accordingly. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, caller. Line three. Hey, you. You want to go to the gym? You want me to pay you to go to the gym? Well, I'm not going to pay you, but you can come down to the gym for one free test run here at the 8th Street Gym and Hot Dog Stand. We've got a gym to work at, and then you can have a hot dog afterward. You can have one of those terrible hot dogs because you don't want to ruin your your progress. But you get one free uh, test drive at the the gym, and then you can get a hot dog, which is not free. It's a dollar fifty. So uh, prices, though, for the gym after that, really reasonable. Come check us out. Thanks, caller. Line four. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Sergeant Tackleberry of the Police Department. And there was a call a few minutes ago about a certain product. Um, and I'd like to point out a couple of things. One, if it's what I think it is, that's illegal in, within city limits. Now, I don't know what it is. They didn't say what it is. But if it is, it's illegal. Also, we don't know where this stuff came from. We don't know if it's, you know, there were pesticides involved. It may be damaging to your health. So you might just beware. That being said, I'd like to put an order in for two grams of the Ooga Booga uh, OG uh, and two grams of Yoda. 
So, I will bring my medical card. So, that's all. Goodbye. And thank you, caller. Let's take a little break and we'll get right back to the calls. <laughs> that's right. Let me tell you who I am. Are you surprised to know that it's your old friend, Yosemite Sam? I got a little dilemma. My seatbelt isn't working. But that's okay, because I can take it to my friends over at Dev's Auto Parts. Dev's Auto Parts and Service are amazing. They took that seat belt and they put it back together. They put even they put a little bow on it to make it look really nice. And then they asked me for just a couple of dollars. They're really good about just asking for a couple. They don't want all your money. They just want enough to make it through, you know, just enough to to keep the business going. Maybe maybe buy have you know some money for for popcorn and bubble gum, but. They do amazing work. You got Deb, you got her son Jojo, you got Jojo's little dog Arabia. They are amazing. And then you got Mr. G. He's the accountant. He takes care of the money. So you should check him out over at Deb's, over there by the by the edge of town. They'll hook you up. I'm Sergeant Tackleberry of the police department. And here, I'm here to let you know about the wall we're constructing around the city. There's been some recent developments of people coming in that have unsavory backgrounds and doing things like torching buildings and such. And as such, we're going to put a fence all around the city. Now, because of such, no one will be able to get in. However, you will not be able to get out either. We are going to have one amnesty day coming up this Tuesday where you can go out and get all the things you need and come back. But you must come back. If you do not come back in, you are lost. It is lost for the rest of your life. You will not be able to get back in to your job, to your kids. You will be locked out. So this Tuesday between 8 a.m., and 8 p.m. Thank you. And welcome back. This is Swap Shop. Let's get back to the calls. Line one. Hi, Bob. I got some tractors to sell. They run okay. It's just that the, with the lack of water, I can't plow anything. And I'm going to have to move back to the city and get a job as a stockbroker or something. Anyway, I got some tractors. They're kind of big, and I got a lot of details that I want to get into on the radio. So you can give me a call at 555-4949, and we can set a time up to look at them. That's 555-4077. Thanks. Thanks, caller. Line 5. So like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe I finally saw an alien. They were aliens here last night. They were, they were, they were all over my bedroom. And then it was, it was really dark because, you know, how, you know, how light works. It gets dark, it gets light, it gets dark, it gets light. It's been happening for at least two or three years. Anyway, so it was dark and there's aliens came in and oh my god they they even signed like my program my 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 my, 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 my autograph book it was great they came in and they took my autograph book and we had cookies and milk and they were the nicest aliens i've ever met well they weren't as nice as the other ones that i met but they were nice in general and it was it was you know it was it was it was it was i don't know if i could ever do that again Thanks, caller. Line five. Hooey! It's Uncle Joe, and don't forget about the Labor Day Fair and Pumpkin Pie Eating Contest. That's right, this weekend 
over at the fairgrounds. We got a bunch of pies. We got a bunch of cattle. That rock and roll stuff is going to be there. Like, what was it? A Motley Crue tribute band and a Journey tribute band. They're going to be here playing for you so you can get down with the music. And it's going to be great. And there's a prize for the pumpkin pie contest. The person going to eat the most pie could have a stomach ache. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. Well, you can have a stomach ache too. But the prize is $25. So you should come out to the Labor Day Fair and we can have some fun. Thanks, caller. Line five. Well, Bob. Here we are again. I always seem to be the last caller. I don't know how. Like, I just call in like everyone else. Maybe there's someone there who thinks that I should always be the last caller. Like, I'm entertaining. Maybe you guys like me. You know, that wouldn't be it. Like, there must be something, though. Maybe it's something that I said or how I said something. Anyway, it's been a good night, hasn't it? It's been dark. I mean, it was a little light at times. But mostly it was dark until it was bright. But, you know, the magic and the mystery of sunlight and darkness. Um, it's just it's kind of amazing, isn't it? It's kind of amazing how... It goes from one color to another, and then back, and then back again, and it just keeps doing this. I don't know how long it's been. I mean, it seems like it's been doing this for, I don't know, two years, maybe three, maybe more. Um, so, I don't know. Bob... Got some good collars, got some good products being sold, and all sorts of things. Just, you know, it's amazing. It's, you know, it's interesting how money flows from one person to another. And, you know, sometimes you get one person buying something, one person selling, sometimes they're you know, buying and selling. It's, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's about as amazing as the. The temperature of the, you know, the, the sky and how it gets dark and then light and then dark and then light and then dark and then light and then dark and then light. It's been that way, I think, for at least a couple of years. Maybe three, but at least two years. Like, you know, I think it's also interesting in that regard. And I, I'm, I don't know, maybe, maybe William Shakespeare saw this as well. I don't know, like I wasn't there. Um, but it's kind of interesting also to think that there are writers out there that are teachers of teachers of teachers of teachers of teachers of William Shakespeare. So William Shakespeare met someone. He taught him how to write. And, you know, that person taught someone else. Or maybe not taught, maybe just, you know, maybe just showed them or, you know, gave them some tips or whatever. He bought him a cup of coffee. And then all of a sudden, you know, you got, you know, Tom Stoppard, and he's teaching someone else, and yada, yada. And then that person who's on the end of the chain right now will teach someone else. And, you know, 300 years from now, that person will be teaching someone. And, you know, maybe even the, it might be, like, dark one night, and then it turns into light, and then dark, and then light, and dark, and then light. Who knows? Like, maybe it's going to go beyond beyond just what I think. I, I mean, I, I think it's only lasted like two or three years, but maybe it's lasted longer and maybe it will last longer. Who knows? You know, maybe there's some scientists out there that can explain the whole thing. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, I think that, uh, I think that we should, uh, just enjoy the things the way things are. Unless they're not good, you don't necessarily want to enjoy those. But but I think, that, you know, enjoy the fact that the sun is bright and then, you know, it gets dark and then it gets bright and then it gets dark. And, you know, just think about how long you've, how long you've seen it for. I mean, has it been like two or three years? Has it been longer? Has it been shorter? 
don't know. I don't know. Maybe you just go have some coleslaw. Have some coleslaw. Maybe have some barbecued chicken or, you know, some baked... I don't know. Whatever you're going to eat. You know? Maybe have some bread with it. But, uh... Yeah, Bob, I think that, I think I've said everything I need to say right now. Maybe I'll, I'll call back next week and I'll have something else to talk about. And I wonder if, like, if I, in between now and then calling, the sky will get bright and then dark and then bright and then dark. You know, for the, those seven days even, you know, they make a continuation of what's happened in the last two or three years. Um, so that's it, Bob. Uh, so thanks. You know, it, it gave me a lot to think about. You know, your show really, your show makes me think. Makes, makes me think. Makes, you know, turns on the old brain. It's uh, it's amazing, you know, what you can think of when you're listening to your show. I mean, that's it. I just, I've got nothing else, Bob. I mean, I guess just wait until the sky gets dark and then light again. And then dark and then light again. And then, anyway, you know, it'll just keep going. Thanks, Bob. And thank you, caller. This has been Swap Shop. Have a great day.